all right hi guys welcome back um so this is kind of a little bit of a different video and it's kind of late and I'm filming this today just because I'm bored uh, I didn't have much to do today so excuse the makeup excuse the hair this was literally like last minute let's just do something to do something um so as some of you guys know my channel got started like January 12th or something so it's been about a week now that I'm overdue on my little anniversary um, so I figured one of the first videos that I ever posted was one of like it was an introduction video I remember and then it was like a TTC tag video that I did so that some of you guys got to know me and um, I figured it would be kind of a fun thing to do to redo that whole video and uh, just re-answer the questions and see how things have changed like the views and stuff and um, I just had to watch it right now just to write down all the questions that um, I have written down or that I got from a different video and um, boy oh boy like I remember that day so well because it was the day that I decided to do these videos and I think I filmed like the first three videos in one day um, the quality was like I used my um, actual DSLR so I think like the quality itself was pretty good and I might think about actually when I do these like sit down videos uh, think about using it again and trying to hook it up but for right now this is just an easy setup for me um, so anyway like the quality itself wasn't bad but I was thinking I was being smart tilting the camera upside down to make myself look skinnier and all that stuff uh, so that's why it's like in a bar I'll link it down below so that those of you that want to see how much things have changed video quality wise uh, feel free or just to see how my answers were back then uh, feel free to go back there and check it out um, so yeah I remember it was like a like light like the right way up um, which gives with the, those like black bars on the side um, I also remember because we're still in my parents' basement and that day my dad was actually home so um, I think we had just told them that we were trying to conceive and it was awkward enough for me to think about doing these videos so I was very shy and I was very quiet I remember my dad was walking around upstairs and their bathroom was right above my bedroom and I think he was taking a shower or something so like you could literally hear everything I was saying so I'm like sitting on my bed going like So if you do end up watching the video, make sure you turn up the, like the volume a lot because that's what I had to do to even get the questions and it just made me laugh because um, it's just nice to see like how things change and how much more like comfortable I am talking about things and how I'm not afraid to get judged for what I say and I don't know my, my whole image about myself like the way I see myself has changed a lot because there I can tell I'm like really like oh like quiet and shy and all that stuff and now I feel like I'm more like I just don't care this is mostly for me and to help other women and if you don't like it then unsubscribe don't watch like I don't care right so um yeah let's get into it. so this doesn't get too long I think there's just like 12 questions or something so we'll get right into it um if you see me looking down I'll try to cut it out as much as I can uh, but yeah I have my phone here with the questions that I have right now okay, so question number one how long have you been trying to conceive um it right now like January 2016 this is our 27th month of trying um, I'm saying month and not cycles just because uh, way at the beginning when we like decided to get off of birth control and start trying um, my cycles were over 100 days long meaning like I had like three months worth packed into one cycle um, which is when some like a year into that I found out like the whole PCOS blood work uh, trying to be on metformin and that didn't work too well it did like I did ovulate and stuff but it just made me really sick so I think that was like the first proper cycle with ovulation that I had like back in the summer of what 2012 um so yeah it's been a while no that's not right it's 2015 2014 yeah no god no not 2012 uh like 20 I want to say 14 yeah 2014 makes a lot more sense okay the summer of 2014 is when I found that out and had some ultrasound and stuff so like, my hair is like all staticky and sticking to me it's like 
day two like a bunch of freaking uh, dry shampoo and it's just not fun. Okay, so question number two. How many kids do you currently have or do you want? Uh, we currently do not have any. Uh, well, we do. Let me rephrase that. We do not have any living children. Um, we do have one little angel baby in heaven and I want to say like 95% sure we have another one up there uh, due to the chemical pregnancy last cycle. Um, I'm saying 95% sure because I'm pretty sure and my doctor is pretty sure but nobody's actually said it yet. So um, I don't know if that's going to happen when I go see her but yeah I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Uh, but I'll get more into what happened there and stuff the next video which will be up sometime this week when I talk about more about what's going on this cycle. Um, so yeah, we do not have any living children. I'm going to say two in heaven. Uh, we lost our first one in September. Uh, I was supposed to be like eight to nine weeks and uh, our baby stopped growing at like, it was, our baby was already measuring way behind from the beginning, which is when we knew something wasn't right. Uh, doctors kept telling us that uh, my ovulation date must be off but I'm on fertility medication and I'm a pianistic addict and a temp addict so I knew exactly when it happened and things were just off so anyway I think the baby stopped growing at like six ish weeks almost seven um, and then the chemical chemical pregnancy that just occurred like last cycle and how many do we want honestly um, I kind of like I remember my answer just because I watch it right now and I was talking about how I'm like an only child and Matt has two siblings so we're kind of like from two different worlds when it comes to kids uh, I didn't mind being the only child he doesn't mind having brothers so um, honestly we wouldn't mind like two at least I'm saying like two around we'd like two but um, with everything going on and everything that we've learned the past year and the miscarriages and stuff like that, at this point, honestly, one will be perfect. Um, just to get to that point to even have one would mean the world to us. So let's just say one for right now because that's all we want currently. Uh, how old are you? How old am I? How old are you and your husband? So, um, I'm 23. I just turned 23 in October. So, yes, still fairly young. Um, but, yes, uh, I'm kind of happy that we started trying early just because I do have PCS and obviously I'm struggling to uh, even get pregnant and to keep a pregnancy. So, this gives us enough time to deal with it, save up for whatever we want to save up for whether it's IVF, adoption, surrogacy, whatever our route may be in the future. Um, if I would have started this at like 30, uh, my chances would even be a lot lower and like just a mess. So yes, I am happy that we started early, really happy. I don't regret any of it. And uh, as for uh, Matt, he is 27. He's turning 28 in March, so like two months away now. His birthday is on the 22nd. So um, yeah, we're about five-ish years apart. And yeah. <laughs> uh, the next question is, how long have we been married? Uh, three and a half years. We got married on August 11th in 2012. That's where I got the 2012 from. And no, we didn't start trying right away. Um, so yeah, it was like a summer wedding and stuff and it has been amazing so this august it'll be four years already and time is just flying by like it's crazy so i remember i did like because i just watched it i keep saying i remember like it's such a big deal like i remember what i did a year ago but no i just watched the video um so i'm gonna insert like i did last time to some wedding pictures uh from our wedding day uh for those of you that didn't get to see it last time or don't want to watch the old video uh here are some wedding pictures for you
Okay, and then the next question is, what are some crazy things I do while I'm trying to conceive? Uh, honestly, <laughs> things have gotten a little bit weirder as far as what I used to do a year ago to what I'm doing now because now it is literally trying to conceive like every month, every cycle, temping, OPKs, like freaking pre-seed and vitamins and this and that. It's just a lot. Um, like... What are, like, how do you even answer that question? What are some crazy things? I'm pretty sure anybody that's trying to conceive does crazy things, like, all day, every day. Because, uh, cycle day one to when you're getting close-ish to ovulate, like, cycle day one to, like, nine or ten are just, like, dragging on. You're just waiting for your period to stop. You're just waiting for your OPKs to come in. You're just, like, oh, it, like, those days are almost worse than the two week wait for me. Like you're the anticipation of starting over again and stuff. Like it is a lot to handle. So um, that for me is like the crazy time I think. Um, then also for me because I am on fertility medication and I'm ovulating all over the place. So I think that's another question later on too. So I'm not trying to answer that one. But because I do ovulate all over the place for me it's like crazy things. It's like literally um, taking OPKs like a bunch of times a day. And some cycles are fine and I'm relaxed and I'm just one OPK every morning and that's it and then I'm done with it and just keep temping. Um, and then some other cycles I'm like, well that line could be darker. Maybe if I hold it a little bit longer, I'll get it to be like positive. So I don't know, that's like until ovulation and then after ovulation you're waiting, or like ovulation when you had your positive OPK, I'm waiting for my temps to go up. Like, that's how anybody's cycle really goes and all of it about it is crazy so I don't know if I do anything more crazy than other women but <laughs> that's just what comes along with this journey I guess. Uh, next question is does my husband know everything about like TT saying? Um, I want to say yes and no. Yes he knows more than he did last year because that's when we were just starting out and he didn't get to see doctor yet. He didn't know what could happen, what went on, like if you look back at this year for us, it has been a crazy ride, like crazy ride from first doctor appointments to the HCG test to learning all about OPKs and HVTs and lines and temping and <sighs> there is a lot. Um, so as far as Matt goes, yes, he knows a lot more than he did last year uh, through the doctor, through me. Um, through me having to take my temp every morning, like in the morning, usually he'll ask you now, like, how was your temp? Did it go up? Did it go down? What's happening? Did you take an OPK? How does that look like? Send me a picture. Like, he knows what's going on. Um, and I think he's been more connected with it all ever since our miscarriage, just because we only had like two real cycles for him to like kind of get to know what's happening before on like the Femera and stuff. So, um, now it's like our third cycle after the miscarriage, so like he is in tune now with what's happening, like OPKs, temping, all that fun stuff. Uh, have you been diagnosed with any infertility? Yes, I have. Uh, like I said way before in like 2013, 14, one of those years, uh, I got uh, diagnosed with PCOS. Um, now, because of that, like, I got the whole progesterone to start my cycle from there to make me ovulate because I don't on my own. I know that there's many kinds of PCOS and it affects everybody differently. For me personally, I do not ovulate, meaning I have impossibly long cycles like you guys heard before. Like, I used to have, like, 100 day or longer. 60 day was, like, one of the normal ones for me. Uh, next question. What keeps you busy during the two-week wait? Um, testing? <laughs> Like, the first four or five days are pretty, like, okay, whatever. Like, just see what my temps are doing. But then when the temps start climbing and they kind of stay up, that's when I go crazy. And uh, because I had my first positive uh, on cycle day nine with my angel baby, uh, I keep thinking, like, it was a pretty nice line. So maybe I could already get one at eight. And then if I get one at eight, maybe I'll get one at seven. Like, it's just one of those things where you're trying to trick yourself. And I know everybody on here knows what I'm talking about because we all do. Like, you start at freaking five DPO going like, oh, my boobs are sore. Oh, I'm nauseous. Like, I can't eat my favorite food. Like, it's just like everybody's like, you're tricking yourself into thinking things. And then you test because you're like, but if I'm feeling this, it should show up on a test. No, like, 
Yeah. Um, I don't think there is a real way to keep yourself busy because honestly this... <laughs> Bailey. Uh, because honestly this is all we think about and um, yeah, that's just how this goes. Um, there isn't much that can keep your mind off of it because it's on your mind 24-7. So yeah, there isn't anything. Just wait until it's over. Uh, next question. What day do you usually ovulate? Well, I don't ovulate on my own. Like I said, I need help of the Femera. So, uh, that kind of <laughs> helps, but it doesn't because I'm all over the place. Like, I ovulate, uh, seven, cycle 17, 18. I've ovulated, like, 19, 20. I've ovulated 22, 24. <laughs> like, it's just all over the place. It seems to be going a little bit fat, like, earlier now rather than later. But, yeah, it's just a guessing game. Like, start testing at, like, 10, like, cycle day 10. And then just keep going until your temp rises. <laughs> um... That's how that goes for me. Uh, next question was, what gender are you hoping for? Uh, no, I already, like from the video earlier, I said something about like a girl, but I wouldn't mind a boy. Like I was kind of like, it doesn't, like I said it doesn't matter. But until you've had a miscarriage, you don't understand the words of it doesn't matter as long as it's healthy. I know that's what everybody says and obviously everybody means it, but you don't mean it as much as a person uh, like we do now. Obviously, like in your in the back of your mind, you obviously still have a little bit more preference for one or the other. But after going through losses, you really, really do not care as long as it's healthy and you get through it and you have a healthy baby at the end. It doesn't matter. Uh, how many pregnancy tests do you take in one cycle? Honestly, it depends on the cycle. Last cycle, I went a little crazy for a good reason. If you go back and watch my video, just with the high temps and all, like I did have a good reason to think that I was pregnant, which I was, but you know. So like I did explain earlier too, with the early tests before, you kind of think you may be able to get one earlier or something. So um, honestly, like in a good cycle, I'll start testing at 90 BO. In a bad cycle, I'll start testing at freaking like 60 BO. Uh, it really depends on your emotional state, I guess, and how confident you feel into like in that cycle and how much you're reading into your pregnant pregnancy symptoms. And then last question, which is kind of weird, like what are some stress relievers while trying to conceive? Honestly, there is nothing, like I already said before. Trying to conceive is a hard thing to do. It's almost like a full-time job. I'm happy that I'm home in regards to that. Sometimes I wish I had something else to do to keep my mind off of it. But I am able to uh, like obsess about it and test when I want and temp when I want and just have the freedom to do whatever I want in order to try and have this baby. Um, yeah, so for me there isn't much like stress relieving. I go outside and I spend time with my fur babies outside or with Bailey or with Matt. Like we try to keep busy and stuff and keep our mind off of things but honestly they're it's on your mind constantly 24 7 and if this is what you want so hard for such a long time there it's just gonna get worse with every day <laughs> so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of little uh flashback ish like comparison to a year ago uh i appreciate if you go back and watch the other video just to see how my answers have changed and how everything else has changed like i said um also, if you're watching this and you're still trying to conceive, I know that a lot bunch of you got your BFPs, so uh, this kind of doesn't really apply to you anymore. <laughs> but I guess you can kind of switch the answers around a little bit if you'd like. But anyway, if you're trying to conceive and you're watching this and you do have a channel, um, even if you don't have a proper channel, pick up a camera and film this video. This is how I started mine, watching other girls do these videos. And it's just like 12, 13 questions, put up a camera and just answer them for yourself. Uh, for one, I'm happy that I did because like I said, now I could look back and see how everything has changed in a year and how my opinions have changed and how I have changed. So um, yeah, I challenge you right now <laughs> to pick up a camera and go film this. Uh, I appreciate if you like tag me somehow in it or let me know that you filmed it and I'll go watch it too and I'll like it and comment back. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys this week to update you on my actual cycle back, uh, what's going on there because it's a mess again. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys this week and thank you guys for watching and thank you for being there for me and subscribing throughout the year and supporting us through all of this. So I love you guys and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye!